the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 203, Jeremiah 4 to 6. God who seeks one person. God could not find one single righteous person in South Judah who could prevent the destruction of Jerusalem, and so God expressed his regrettable and unfortunate state of mind. First point God told the people of South Judah to repent through Jeremiah. God spoke to the people of South Judah through Jeremiah. If you, Israel, will return, then return to me, declares the Lord. God moreover told them how to repent. The first was for them to get rid of evil and not to be shaken. The second was for them to live a righteous and just life. The third was for them to not abuse their land. The fourth was for them to approach circumcision with the right heart and to turn to God. But as they refused to do so, God declared that He would strike them through their surrounding countries, raise the signal to go to Zion, flee for safety without delay, for I am bringing disaster from the north, even terrible destruction. A lion has come out of his lair, a destroyer of nations has set out. He has left his place to lay west your land. Your towns will lie in ruins without inhabitant. God told Jeremiah that he would punish them, but this came from a place of deep love and mercy. Second point, Jeremiah cried due to the sins of the people of South Judah and said that his heart was sad. Oh, my anguish, my anguish, I ride in pain. Oh, the agony of my heart. My heart pounds with me. I cannot keep silent, for I have heard the sound of the trumpet. I have heard the battle cry. God told Jeremiah that South Judah would become trumpeted by the Babylonians. Thus, Jeremiah lamented and grieved. The pain of his country was soon his pain. My people are fools. They do not know me. They are senseless children. They have no understanding. They are skilled in doing evil. They know not how to do good. Jeremiah felt the anguish of God. Third point. The reason God punished the South of Judah was because he could not find a single person who acted righteously or was searching for the truth. The reason for the fall of South of Judah was very clear. The first was because there was no one who was righteous. God explained that South Judah was like Sodom and Gomorrah. But God still looked for those who searched for the truth. The second was because of idol worship. The third was because they did not accept God and ignored his prophets. God claimed that if there was one person who was righteous and just, he would forgive South Judah, but that one person did not exist. Fourth point, God explained that the reason South Judah was being punished was because of the evil of the false prophets and the priests. The reason God sent Babylon to South Judah was because of their sin. People of Israel declares the Lord, I am bringing a distant nation against you an ancient and enduring nation, a people whose language you do not know, whose speech you do not understand. God continued to rebuke South Judah for their non-repentant hearts. Hear this, you foolish and senseless people who have eyes but do not see, who have ears but do not hear, because South Judah did not keep their covenant with God or their relationships with their neighbors all had fallen apart. The prophets prophesy lies. 
The priests rule by their own authority, and my people love it this way. But what will you do in the end? This was why God was in deep anguish. Fifth point, God rebuked the prophets and the priests for making false prophecies and then feeling no shame. God told Jeremiah once again that their days of destruction were quickly emerging and that the Babylonian soldiers would come soon. God explained the reasons for their destruction. The first was because Jerusalem was full of violence and rage. The second was because they did not listen to God. The third was because of their greed. The fourth was because of their religious leaders who told the false messages. The people of South Judah were disobedient and worshipped God only on the surface. God told Jeremiah that Babylon would be used as God's tool to furnish South Judah. Look, an army is coming from the land of the north. A great nation is being stirred up from the Andes of the earth. They are armed with the bow and spear. They are cruel and show no mercy. They sound like the roaring sea as they ride on their horses. They come like men in battle formation to attack you, daughter Zion. This caused Jeremiah great distress and pain. Jeremiah compared his pain to the pain of a woman giving birth and a parent who lost their child. The people of South Judah who had turned away from God were now to be punished. They are called rejected silver because the Lord has rejected them. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading. This is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.